Hello everyone, I'm Hermias and I welcome you to my let's play of Hellpoint by Tiny Build Games. My let's play is going to be like a walkthrough since I'll be sharing everything that I have learned of this game so far with you guys. We will be talking about the game mechanics, the world, consumables, basically everything that this game has to offer as we proceed through the different stages of this game. Anyway, without much ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're starting at the embassy. Irate Novo is a success. Applause. They called us insane. Some called us evil. But to end the suffering in this world, a bold vision was required. The faith you have rested in us will soon be rewarded. As you take your rightful place in the world. This part always reminds me a bit of the Matrix, except in the Matrix, like, fluid is being drained until you're being like, filled up by fluid. I read that the devs tried to make an androgynous androgynous character. However, I think the shoulders are too broad for the character to ha have like no gender. Welcome, Spawn. Breathe. The discomfort is only temporary. You have many questions. Take your time, leave the pond when you are ready. Anyway, yeah, I think if they wanted to go for a character that has absolutely no gender then the shoulders shouldn't have been this broad. I think this gives like the illusion of a male character more than one that has no gender. It, that's my opinion. You are too weak to continue. Use this injector to heal yourself. Right, let's pick that up. Healing injection. Okay. Presumption to access your inventory, equip a healing item. If if you're playing on the computer, obviously it's different for you. The controls. Okay, healing injection. A universal healing method for physical injuries and trauma. As is the case for all popular medicines, the technology is owned by an obscure monolithic corporation. Jack that. Ooh, <laughs> sorry. Good. The drug should take effect soon. Mm. Uh, there's nothing there, like down there, left and right. No items, nothing. So don't worry about it. Just come up the stairs. Your vital signs are looking good. I'll be waiting for you at the end of the embassy hall. Walk forth with courage. Before we walk forth with courage, let's grab this item here. Actions. Actions are your uh, level up consumables and your cu currency. You can come here and interact with this computer. Welcome to Irate Novo. 
We hope your trip or reintegration went well. If not, we encourage you to notify the health department immediately. Our customs forms have been filled out for you automatically. Please enter your personal ID to claim your belongings. Now, the thing is, you will never ever figure out the personal ID for the thing because this was apparently a promotion code, but if you're curious about what's in there, here goes. I think it was 100, 408. Valid ID retrieving your belongings. So we get some facial hairs, heavy delivery and del deliberate burden. Please enjoy your stay. Thank you very much. All of these items to me personally are just troll items. Like the deliberate burden, you need 24 strength for this. And it's just basically a huge piece of debris. I mean, I guess you can do a lot of damage with it. Then what else we got here? The facial hair, which is funny because you need 8 strength and your cognition has to be on 6. For whatever reason, I don't know. So much about uh, no gender. Oops. Um, and then we have some heavy, heavy delivery. An ordinary chunk of metal engraved with some symbols but it's much heavier than it should be you feel like inertia doesn't work the same anymore the heavier you are the slower and harder you hit so I don't know why anyone would equip these maybe for a specific challenge run maybe but other than that no free clue anyway let's go here and open the window Read this. Oh yeah, this just tells us how to jump. Don't get startled by the Debris here. <laughs> First time I played it, I jumped up because I wasn't expecting that. You can't open this yet. There's an enemy on the other side. The music is really noisy right now, so... Right now you can't hear it. I think it's kind of unlucky that we started the game off at the hell time. I'll be explaining that to you in a minute. Let's just come here for now so I can explain this one to you. So as you can see when I'm standing on the heating vents, my body temperature goes up. You can see that on that barometer you see on the lower left hand side corner the red line so as long as it doesn't go all the way to the top we're good but if it does go any higher up then that's not good we don't want to combust and yeah the same it also goes in the other direction so if it goes any lower we are having cold damage and we can freeze up and shatter into tiny little pieces let's come here and stabilize the breach Breaches serve as your nexus, kind of, so what you can do here is you can rest at a breach, sort of. You cannot, however, regenerate your healing items, however your health bar will be filled up again. What you can do here is you can consume actions that you have picked up. If you remember earlier, we picked up the actions. Or if you kill enemies, you will gather actions so you could infuse those and level up. What you can do is you can synchronize breaches. For that we need the breach synchronizers, which help us to traverse between breaches. You can polarize, which increases enemy strength in this universe that we're at at the moment. Or we can recess and reduce enemy strength in this universe. What you need to know about Hellpoint is that whenever you start a new game, you will be at a different universe. So no game is ever the same. We have different times, as you can see on the left 
upper left hand side corner we have this clock and right now we have the hell point as you can see we have um, three something three a.m. p.m. some kind of three o'clock at the moment and the hell time also occurs at something nine o'clock ish then we also have that circles which is mm -hmm. black hole time so when the black hole time occurs enemies get stronger but when the hell time occurs we have hordes of enemies and different kind of enemies also spawn oftentimes these enemies are some kind of demonic entity all right let's continue with the game okay this tells us how to equip weapons we can pick up our first weapon here which is the pipe let's come here and wait uh wait i need to do this so this doesn't do that thingy anymore Pipe. Oh, just read about the pipe. A piece of coolant pipe patched with sharp broken metal pieces using cloth filaments. Someone's been here before. Swings widely and can split enemies' heads open nicely. Great. I don't know if I should actually press all the inspect buttons for you guys or not. Let me know if it's necessary. I mean, at the beginning, it's not that much necessary, but later on, probably. Alright, pick that up. This is shield. I don't use shields. Can read a bit about the item. Scrub shield pieces of metal plates crudely attached together to make an experience expedient protective shield it looks like it might shatter with every hit it takes okay, i will not use shields unless an enemy fight unless it's necessary for an enemy fight whenever you pass by these kind of vents look behind you make sure there's not an enemy crawling out of these things ready to ambush you First we will go up here, jump, okay so this area for new players might be kind of a tricky one because depending on a set we're in a multiverse here so every game is different every time you restart your game enemies will be at different positions. This play, this one might be a trickier part of the beginner game as you never really know where an enemy is standing here so okay sometimes an enemy is standing here if you're lucky he just falls out of the vent again optimal it would be if this enemy crawls out of here and the other enemy is crouching here holding its head but i never get that i sometimes have an enemy standing here attacking me Oftentimes I get this dude and then we have this guy here ready to take me down. Alright, so what you could do is you could jump down here and proceed with this level that way. Um, that's not my style, so I like to take a different approach so let's go back jump what you can also do is you could also come from here because this is a hidden door for this game play, I will just unlock it here and go from here but I don't want to do this either since I will go this I'll come here later. First, let's go down here. Jump down on these containers so we don't take too much fall damage. Pick this up. 
And there over there is a really nasty enemy who does laser damage, so... Oh shit, he got it. Okay. Where's the shield guy? Over there. Hello, shieldy. This item and the store. Make sure you go down the stairs and pick up that item here. Okay, so what you can do here is you can either lure them. All the enemies here one by one. Um, if you see that hell time is approaching when you're here, um, either be quick or go back up, you know, go to your breach or restart the game so that the time is being reset to non hell time time because during hell time you will have a demonic entity patrolling this area. And he's pretty hefty, so you don't really want to deal with him at this point. I didn't really watch out here. Mm -mm. Okay, I will just run through here and deal with the enemy that way. Do not press this here yet. Unless you want... All the enemies following you. Need some stamina. Good. Let's pick this up. I'll deal with the shield guy. deal with this one too and once I have dealt with them I'll go press the button to the elevator because it will start an alarm and when that happens all the enemies will come running towards me so I have two enemies left over there but they don't really care about me it seems however if you start this when there are enemies here in this area like the one that I just took out then they will come for you come here and talk to this guy I'm requis requisitioning this house for the ministry sorry pal you should know better in this world you need to be quick to claim territory it didn't work out for you this time, but maybe you'll be faster in the next world. Now get the hell out of here before I denounce you too. As you can see, there's an item there. I will show you later how to get that item. As for now, this area is locked for us. There's another laser guy there, so I will just run. Oops, I need to stop forgetting to lock on. Climb up these ladders here. Come here, go down here, and grab the INB vault key. This is an important key. Without this, you cannot progress to the next area. You cannot get to the boss. Come here and get it, okay? Another thing about this game is if you spend too much time at a certain area, like 10 minutes, enemies will respawn. Okay, so after 10 minutes, the enemy that you have killed, they will respawn.
Also, you might have figured that my healing injection has now filled up. That I now have two healing injections instead of just one. Where is he? Oh, there. Okay. This, at the moment, we only have two healing injections. Um, we used up the first injection earlier when the Omnius, um, Omnius, yeah, Omnius. Oh yeah, that's not right. where am I swinging? When the Omnius being told us to use it. That's when we used up one, and since then I have had one. So now that we have filled it back up, we have two. Later on in the game, we will be getting something that's called a healing proficiency. And with that, when we go to the respective machine, you, you have machines in this game where you can fortify your weapon, your consumables, all that kind of stuff. So once we have the proficiency, we can go to the healing machine thingy and then we can have more shots. Okay. And this is where we opened up the shortcut earlier. As you can see over there is the enemy with that we took out a good 10 minutes ago maybe and he has respawned. Let's not forget to take this item. A column is basically kind of like heavy burden. I don't know. I think strength builds might use them. I don't use them. I like to do quick games. I will do strength leveling. I will level up my strength skills. However, I like to do quick fights. I got it. I timed that really bad. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Okay. Now I'll go here since I didn't go up the stairs yet and grab this. And now we can open up some hidden doors from the cell. Come here left. You see these, whenever you see something like that, you know, these two lines and then the middle doory thing, try if it's a hidden door. Sometimes it's not, but just give it a go. Now we need to jump. You will have parkour a lot in this game. Don't get startled by the body that falls down here. Let's pick up these items. Again, this is a really cool cool machine. It's called a cold station. And what you can do here is it's basically a 3D printer. If you have collected your let me find it. Your, here it says printing. Your blueprint. Model Demon Cannon. Then, this is a blueprint. You can print this weapon if you have enough of the resources that I needed to print it. Let's give this a go. I don't think we can print the model yet as we don't have enough of the, Id yeah, of the resources that we need. However, we can process some of them. So we have collected some carbon scraps, some carbon particles out of them. Same with the insulin rod and the refined carbon. Whoops. 
We could also dismantle items. So let's say I don't use shields. I could dismantle this and uh, I could get the insulin particles. However, I will just let this be for now. Just wanted to show you guys what you can do here. Now, as you can see, there is light coming down from there. So. Uh, I'm sorry, never mind. This is just reflection. However, this is a hidden door anyway. Pick up the coin. I have not figured out what coins are good for yet, except to unlock an achievement. And you pick up the port Isodon credentials. These are pretty good. Pick them up. Okay, you, you will need it. Now let's drop down here and pick up this item. Um, in dire situation you could actually go from here and then over there you can just jump to the other side and then you can jump there but I am not in a dire situation so I will just jump there. I will use up one healing injection and take the lift Now the next thing that I am going to do is a bit risky. If you do not trust yourself, I don't know, you might die here actually. So, but I am just going to take the risk. Uh, but let's first interact with this computer. Welcome. An Irid novel, all nations of the Milky Way join together in harmony to strengthen the emboldening order that will secure our future generations. Nothing other than the greatest and noblest goal will empower our leaders to work together on this courageous endeavor. The ministry wishes all dignitaries and diplomats a very fruitful sojourn on board. For now you can check the directions here and exit. Okay, so once we pass through this door, there will be two hefty enemies. There, I think they're called sentinels, I'm not certain. However, they kind of like the black knights and dark souls. Dark souls one. Mm, and they're too strong for your under level character. If you still want to fight them, be my guess, but I don't want to fight them so I will just run through this and they do magic damage as well. We picked up the IMB vault keys so let's hurry up and use it here. I will be watching this guy so that he doesn't get me. Okay and let's run. Let's run through here. As you can see we opened up that gate that we had earlier. We came from here and we opened up that gate there. The one that was hidden. This guy is gonna follow me until all eternity so I'm just gonna jump down here and make sure he leaves me alone. I'll connect. Okay now that we have connected to the bridge we can infuse the user with the action that we have collected so I will go with health, stamina, strength and reflex and then I have used up everything. That was kind of a clean cut in my opinion. And while we're at it I guess we can talk about a bit about the stats. So if you press help, you will get this overview of what everything is. I'll just go through them, read them out for you. Um, I think they're pretty forward after you read those. So let's start with health. Health is just your total health. Energy is a resource used by firearms. Catalyst, the Omnicube and weapon abilities. Replenished by dealing melee damage. Stamina is a resource consumed when attacking, sprinting, jumping or dodging. Regenerates automatically over time. So these are the three bars that you see next to your clock. I have not 
use any actions on the energy yet, so the blue bar, which is the energy bar, is still pretty low. Load is the maximum weight that can be carried before you become over encumbered. So the load system here is similar to that of Dark Souls. In Bloodborne we didn't have that. To those of you that played those games. Anyway, yeah, in this game load does affect your stamina and your tenacity. Strength increases damage dealt with heavy weapons. It is also a requirement for certain pieces of equipment. So strength is also again very straightforward. Reflex is a bit different. Reflex increases damage dealt with fast weapons. It is also a requirement for certain pieces of equipment. So reflex in this game is like dexterity in Dark Souls 1. A good reflex weapon would be a dagger. It's small, it's fast. Cognition increases damage dealt with firearms. It is also a requirement for a certain piece of equipment. And then we have foresight which increases damage dealt with catalysts. So difference between cognition and foresight is both require energy, however cognition is used for firearms and foresight is used for catalysts, so foresight is more like occult damage or magic damage, sort of like that. Defense is the percentage of damage reduction. Defense can vary depending on the type of damage taken. And we have tenacity, which determines how much damage can be taken without being interrupted. So tenacity is, I guess, poise. You had poise in Dark Souls, right? So in this game it's called tenacity. Which actually is a term I am more familiar with than poise. Mm. The defense stats, physical energy, nihil, induction, entropy and radiation we will go into at a different point in the game. At the moment they're not that necessary so let's just leave it at the basic stats. I'll leave here and I will restart the game so that I can show you how to pick up that item that was behind the cell. <coughs> Alright so I restarted the game Whenever you restart the game, your clock will be reset, as you can see right now, my clock is reset. And um, all the enemies obviously will have respond to. I don't have the time to deal with these, so let's just try to run through here without getting hurt or hit. As when you, either you can do this by dying or by restarting the game. And when you do that, make sure you're very, very, very quick. Let's hurry up. Go there. And the bars will close, so do not worry about the enemy following you. Let's pick that up. And we get a catalyst conductor, which is an upgrade item for your catalysts. We don't have a catalyst yet, so um, I don't really have to go into this at this point. It says equip it on a catalyst at an upgrade station to augment power based on foresight. We haven't yet found an upgrade station either for this, so it's all Gucci. Um, I think I'll heal myself. I'll open this. And I will... Okay, I need to go here. Fuck. Sorry, these dudes always give me like panic attacks. I don't like boom boom lasers. Uh, Alright. I'll go fire here. I wonder if I can just run through here without taking too much damage. I'll just try. I hate it when they're blocking my way. But I think it worked just fine. Let's go. 
This dude too. Ah, that bird. It's, it's okay though. Like we're really close to the bridge, so we can heal back up. <laughs> I don't know how much I need it right now for healing. I'm not healing for leveling up. What should I need to level up? Ah, okay. Okay, so I restarted again to have a full injection since the next the next place that I am going to that I will go to is a bit difficult and I'm pretty sure I will lose a lot of health there so if you come here as you can already guess is another hidden door let's activate it and over here just as you enter you will be ambushed by some really crappy flying fish. Okay, good, good, good. We <laughs> made this. At least we made this one. Oh, you know what? I, I wish I had. I wish I had one of those cool. One of those cool. Uh, sorry. Okay, now I'll finish my sentence. I wish I had some of these cool throwing knives that you had in Dark Souls. Just so I can throw them at these crappy fish. Can I not go up there? I wish I could. Why can I not go up here? Oh well, he's already coming here, so let's go. Is there another fish there? No. Okay, let's just deal with this guy then. This place is swarming with those green flying fish. I don't know where they came from. Probably some other universe. The thing with this game is... Maybe I should get a bit into the lore. So... What happened here is we're at a space station, as you figured out by now, and there was some kind of terrible incident when, which they call in this game, I think, the merge. When the merge happened, everyone that you know, their selves from different parallel universes merged so and that's how they lost their minds can this guy like that? oh yeah okay fuck come on before a dumb fish comes jesus christ i don't have the time for this that up. Okay, this guy is following me too. Someone from... No, okay. I thought maybe someone from down the stairs is coming here, but... What about this fish now? This fish is not interested in me. But there's a fish here? No? Okay. I guess not. <sighs> okay, he... Now he saw me. Why'd you get over there? Whatever, I'm gonna risk it. Okay. Okay, is that it? That it? Okay, that's it. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm glad that this is it. Oh, wait, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. There is a fish down here. And that fish always startles me. Always. Great, we have now black hole time, as you can see, so... Enemies are now stronger. 
I will heal myself. Damn, why does this fish take so long to take down? What is this? Let me check everything from here. Okay, so there's one fish there. There's this guy. There's a fish here and right next to the fish, I don't know if you can see the silhouette of the enemy. That's a laser dude. Okay, come here. Let me lure you. I hope he comes up the stairs. I hate when this happens. Like, you can't hit them when they're on the ground. They have this. They have a safe hitbox then. Okay, I'll wait for this fish to come here. That's a. At least that's a good thing in this game. Like you can lure them to you. I'm out of stamina. I think I'll ignore this one for now. Let's just go here. And there's an elevator here. Takes a bit to op activate it. And now we can pick up the bones. We can use the IMD block key again. Another gold coin. And we can pick up the healing proficiency, the one that I have mentioned earlier. And when we open this, we have opened us another nice shortcut. However, I need to go back as that wasn't at all on that level. And by now, some enemies should have crawled out of the vents here. Let me oh yeah, there. Good. There he was. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. If we can't see the Fextra Live icon. I think this is the Fextra Live icon. Emblem. It does look a lot like the Fextra Live emblem. Yeah. yeah, 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 I know. I know you're aggressive, I know. Uh huh. Okay, he's following at least. You wanna come here or what? I don't wanna risk the fish. Thankfully, we managed this. Okay, let's pick that up. <sighs> Good. Um, next step we're going to take will be a bit risky, so we need to be quite clear since we're gonna go out of space. We're going to leave this place and we're gonna go out of space. It will be very cold and we will be exposed to radiation. Okay. <laughs> I should have probably healed myself. I think I don't know if I should do that now. I'll right again. But this body temperature is sinking now, as you can see on our barometer. And you can see the status icon. Okay, so to hurry up. Jump down there. Run jump jump ever so slightly so we don't fall down there pick up the broken eva's suit run jump go back up open and you can see we have faced radiation so please hurry up i need to go Go, 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 go. 
activate the elevator. Please just activate. Uh, I don't think I'll make it. I think I'll die here. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on. Do you guys think we'll make it? I don't know. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Okay, that was good. Now let's go here to the healing vents. Uh, heating vents, not healing vents. Heating vents. Ah, oh, it's so nice and warm. Cozy. But my health is still decreasing. I must have lost a lot of... I faced a lot of radiation, so let's just wait for this to go away. And now we're okay. However, we have been exposed to radiation and we don't have any anti-radiation aid. So this, our health bar will remain this way. We will, we will have to stick with this what we call it health penalty so what I will do now is gonna be very unlucky let me just first level up I'm still going to distribute my oh that's it okay I'm still going to distribute my stats As at this point I don't have any weapon that I like and that I am leveling up towards so I can still distribute my my stats I'll just let this guy kill me come on kill me Okay, you guys, when you die in this game, um, there's a very specific game mechanic here, which is once you die, a ghost of yourself will spawn. Your ghost is basically a copy of yourself that is not nice since he's coming for you, he's hunting you and he wants to kill you. The thing is just, as you can see, look, my actions are over there. For some reason I couldn't find him. So I allowed myself to get killed here in the hopes that he will spawn somewhere here. But no, anyway, let's grab this item that I apparently forgot to pick up. Dude, I don't know where he is. This is a bummer, like I died twice now just to find him, to show him to you guys, but... I just can't find him. Well, in that case, let's just run through here. Pick up this item. And then enter here. Good, there's nothing here. And we will come down here. This wall is still closed, but in a bit it will be open, so don't worry about that. When you come here, it might be possible that you won't find any enemies. It really always depends. This up. And then come and take this item, the ceremonial dagger. The ceremonial dagger is a great beginner 
reflex weapon. Beyond. I don't know why it's lagging here so much. So it's pretty cool. Wait, wrong one, sorry. However, I'm just... I'm just not convinced with the daggers since they have too little reach and the pipe is already going on my nerve. The pipe is already too low reach for me. Since we enter this place now, the wall should now be gone. Oh yeah, right, of course. have hell time now so let's watch out shit okay wait I need to walk here I'll pick this up let's go here there is a door and if we're unlucky, then our ghost is actually here, but he's not. I don't know where the hell that ghost is. Maybe he's in the main room. Whenever you see containers in this game, then jump up them. Check what is uh, upstairs. I don't know how you would say that. Yeah, jump up the containers. Check what is... Uh, upstairs uh, check if there is a shortcut check if there is an item make use of these things mm -hmm. I'll just wait for this guy to pass whoa Wait a bit. I'll lure them now one by one. And last but not least, him. Then we can pick up this item. Sorry, I'm just making sure if my ghost is there or not. Okay. And before I enter the boss fight, I'll go back. Since I have read uh, that... Well... I have read that when it's hell time, bosses get stronger too. I am not sure how accurate that is. I have not yet seen much of a difference. Whether I have hell time or not when I'm fighting a boss. But I guess I'm not going to take any risks, so I'm just gonna... Go here, level up. If I can, that is. Oh yeah, no, I can't. Okay, I still need some. So I will level up a bit and then I'll be back and we will start the boss fight. Okay, there he is. One more, okay. Well, I was uh, trying to um, farm and 
Oh yeah, while I was trying to farm, I found my ghost. So there you have it. This is kind of like, it was in the middle of randomness, but... That was the ghost that comes to hunt us whenever we die. Alright, so I leveled up a bit. I am now at level 11. With my health and stamina being at 4 and strength and reflex at 3. I hope this is enough to deal with the next boss. He's... Oh, he's coming forward. Well, I don't have the time, so I'm just gonna run. Run, run, run. Why do they hate me so much? Okay. The thing with this boss is it does cold damage, however you do have heating vents on the left and right side of this area, I wanted to say area and arena at the same time and area came out. Um, yeah, so Wait, I will try to warm up. Oh, why you keep doing this, you poop? I want to give some first hits before I have to fight you properly. I did a really good Dark Souls people keep me here. Ah, oh, fuck! Now I can't move. Can't move right now. Well, the entrance was bad. Whenever the boss does that, you can also get in a few good hits. Try to run. No, I'm still too cold, so I need to like run. Not good, just run. Uh oh. Okay. Still too cold, I can't move. When I'm cold, my mobility is restricted and I don't like to fight like that. Oh shit. Seriously, can't you just come up here and fight me properly and not do some distant shit? Oh shit. Okay, let's move here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ooh, cold. I already feel it. No, that's not good. We got really frozen up here. Uh, no. I got hit pretty hard right now. I have to admit, I wasn't being careful. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good thing I was a bit farther away than that. I need to like hum 
a way that boss fights I get so nervous and this is how I kind of like calm myself. I'm, I don't feel ready yet. I don't feel ready. I don't feel ready. Stop following me. I'm cold. Shit, run, please, just run. Just run, run. <laughs> I apologize about my cussing, it's just. I'm out of stamina and this guy keeps following me. Or this dude, I don't know. No. I am not cozy yet. Whoa, what are you doing? I don't know if I'm cozy enough yet. Okay, I think it now I should be like when it comes. Whoa! Oh, this is good! Move. You see, he, she did that. I keep throwing around genders, sorry. Um, did you see the enemy did that thing? So that was the perfect opportunity. No, 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 no! Oh, God. I thought it would get me. I need to run a bit now. I think I need like three more hits and we should be done. Let's not get... Uh oh, 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 why are you doing this now? Let me just finish this, please. Shit, are you kidding me? Oh, crap. What the hell? <laughs> the enemy is just throwing these things now. Stop. Okay, okay, okay. I know you're doing this now. What? No way! No way! Are you... What is this fight? What is this fight? Look at that... Look at that health! Look at that... Look at that bar! What? Look at the enemies... Look at the enemies bar! Please just look at this, like... Die already! That. Oh my. What, what is this walkthrough? I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, let's connect. That took longer than necessary. <sighs> okay, I will go with um, strength. Things, and then I'm done. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'll go with this for now. Strength at 5, Reflex at 4, because I'm gonna pick up a weapon later on, it's the first weapon that I will invest in, and that has, I think I need Strength 6 and Reflex 4 for that. Okay. Okay, so we did the first level, basically, we also fought the first boss. Now let's continue by coming here and then we will activate this computer. Hello, I'm glad you could make it. I apologize for inflicting this hardship upon you, but it was necessary. As you can see, your arrival has occurred at a most dire time. This is your home, Ira Novo, the city of the stars. I am the author, and you are my spawn. I had to create you in order to have an immune specimen. You will bear the story of this place so that it will never be forgotten. 
you will venture throughout Iron Novo, making your own way and searching for answers and then report your observations to me. Exercise your free will and quench your thirst for truth. I know it dwells within you, pushing you forward. But before you go, you may ask me any questions you might have. Okay, so the question are the questions are what am I? What's going on? Why can't I see you and just say nothing basically? Um I will go with what am I? Or should I go with what's going on? I don't know what would be more interesting for you guys. I think I'll go with what am I? You are a human being, a newborn, and thus immune to this affliction. For thousands of years, your race has endured and thrived on many worlds. And with resilience, we shall prevail through this moment as well. I am unwell and must rest soon. Do you have any other questions? What's going to happen? Why are you unwell? Where should I go? Say nothing. Um, I go with why are you unwell? I am the last survivor in Iron Novo. I don't know how, but the merge hasn't fully affected me yet. However, I feel myself becoming less anchored to this world. I have no idea how much time I have left. I will use my energy sparingly, but I will try to help you. Take refuge in the observatory. Equip yourself and venture forth to investigate the events on Iron Novo. We need you to collect data from the world and bring it back to me once you are done. Our story must never be forgotten and we cannot let the project go to waste. You will come back to this exact location when I summon you. Do you understand? Yes, I guess that's how it is then. How could I possibly understand any of this? I'll go with the last one, I like it. There is no time for further explanations. I trust your judgment, you will find a way. I must leave now and make the most of the time I have left. I am sorry I cannot help you any more than this. Remember this place. Okay, so... Let's read this first. Okay, Omnicube. So we're gonna get our first Omnicube here. Pick it up. So let's see what this does. Let me find it first for you. There it is. Omnicube. Once the pinnacle of reprogrammable nanotech. The Omnicube was relegated to the status of children's toy when the printing of nanotech within building structures became commonplace. Stumps still find it useful for tasks such as mining or exploration. We found this one. Omnicube transposition. An Omnicube program that uses actions to bring the user back to the last quantum anchor or bridge visited. Um, I think there was something similar to that in Souls. The Homeward Bone. I think with the Homeward Bone you didn't have to sacrifice your souls. When you used it you could like awaken back at the last bonfire visited. And the Omnicube transposition is kind of like that when you equip it into your Omnicube then you can travel or waken back at the last bridge that you have visited. Um, what are Omnicubes? Omnicubes are kind of like a set programmable. They're programs where you can, let's call the transposition like chips and then you can end put them in the army cube and they do different kind of things so there's one that is a flashlight where you can illuminate the area with right but we haven't picked that one up yet we have only this one so um let's equip it sorry there 
we go. And now if I would do this. Leap to last bridge visited. We're going to the last bridge that we have visited. And here we are. And um, yeah, it is it is like the homeward bone apparently like we didn't lose any actions. <clears throat> so and after here will be the observatory, which we will do next time. So see you then.